Hey, and welcome back to my channel, Eccentric Spirits Tarot. I thank you so much for being here today with me. So I am going to be doing the weekly horoscope reading for Virgo. Just like usual, I will cover each individual day of the week and give you a really good idea of what's coming next week, what it is you can expect, and yeah, just give you a nice heads up, Virgo, into what is ahead of you next week. And let's just get straight into your reading. Okay, Virgo, I feel like next week has you in quite a good position. I feel like it's got you in a position where you're starting to get to the top in a sense. I feel like you're... You're, you're really working to get what it is you want, to really manifest what it is you want, okay? I feel like it's been taking a lot of energy. It's been taking, it's really been needing you to weave your magic, right? And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing this week. I feel like you're weaving your magic. You're manifesting what it is you're seeking and you're seeking to get yourself that success, that achievement. I feel like you're all chasing this success and achievement along the way, okay? I feel like you're going after it so much that at times you, you're you sacrificing, okay? I do feel like there are times where you're sacrificing things with friends, with family, relationships, but it's because you're so determined. It's because you're so on track. You're almost tunnel visioned after what it is you're trying to attain, right? You are just manifesting and putting so much energy into it. I feel like continue on this path. You are going to get what it is you want, okay? You are going to see the results of it. Some of you, this may be the week where you're already seeing results, okay? And seeing results of on a whole bigger scale. I feel like a lot of you are starting to to chase your destiny, okay? To really start to follow your destiny as well. Monday's got you going into a position where I do feel like you've got a lot of power in your hand on Monday if you want to, okay? I do feel like there are a few relationships, like I was saying, that you have been sacrificed, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, you've walked away from them for the right reasons. And I feel like you've walked away from them because like I said, it's keeping you forward on the new horizon. It's keeping your eyes forward after what it is you're striving forward, right? I do feel like there is an option though for you to find that resolution if you want, okay? I feel like there are some of you Virgos who maybe you are now that you've got it and now that you're starting to see the the and actually feel the effects of the sacrifice, I feel like there are a few of you Virgos who want that resolution, okay, who want to find a bit of, who want to find the solution because you found that it's isolating, you found that you've isolated yourself in the process, okay, without even realizing it, you've cut these ties, okay, and it has put you in a position where um, you're isolated and a lot of the people around you are maybe there because they got their hand out because of what you're achieving, trying to get that right along in a sense, so it's really Monday for those Virgos where that's the case. You can find the resolution if you want, okay? For others of you where you've walked away, it's okay. There are going to be other people that come back into your life, okay? There is going to be one person in particular who is going to come striving into your life, sweep you off your feet, okay? So Monday's like all about having that faith and belief in the decisions that you chose, in the path that you've chose and the actions that you're taking. And if you're not happy with it, you can find that solution, okay? Everything is around you on Monday to give you that outcome if that's what you seek. Tuesday has you going into a place where, again, there's just so much good energy around you, so much success. I feel like you're coming out wiser, okay? You are... You are coming out a lot wiser this whole week, okay? I feel like even though there's so much successful energy around you, so much achievement, I feel like you're constantly learning. You're constantly growing. You're constantly evolving. You're on your own journey as well. And I feel like you know that, that it's kind of like, um, it's like you understand that when are you going to know everything, okay? It's kind of like you understand there's always more to learn. There's always more knowledge. There's always more out there, okay? And I feel like you are getting wiser through this search for knowledge, through this search you've got, okay? A lot of you, this knowledge I'm talking about is directly related to your passion, okay? 
to that creative side of you to where it is that that fuels you, that feeds you, okay? And I feel like you're carrying yourself to this place. You're putting in all the work. I feel like this is all you, okay? This is all your efforts, your work, your magic, your power, your determination, okay? And Tuesday is nothing different from that. It is all about you pushing forward, you not allowing yourself to be thrown off course, okay? Tuesday's really gonna favor you taking that effective communication kind of route okay really being swift in how you communicate and and being decisive okay it really does require that decisive decisiveness from you on tuesday wednesday's got you going into a position where i do feel like again okay it's got you trying to maximize these opportunities uh, i feel like you're really trying to build something okay and you're not trying to build something short term you're trying to build something long term and you're trying to keep that passion alive within it in the long term as well okay i feel like wednesday's all about you trying to build it trying to make it into more trying to get that break you're searching for i do feel like my uh wednesday's got you in a position where it, it's like you're trying to maximize everything that comes your way right you're trying to make sure everything you've done you do the intent is behind it okay you're trying to make sure that everything you do you do is with purpose and with an intention to help facilitate you on your journey i do feel like you do have a bit of negativity linking into this though i feel like it's really intertwining with with this pursuit with this pursuit to maximize these opportunities with this pursuit to maximize everything that's coming to you i do feel like it is bringing it's either bringing in a negative person or you're going into like a negative environment okay um and i feel like this it's it's not like it's gonna stop you from going to where you want to be right unless you allow it to it's kind of like you have got the power within you okay but if you're not careful it's going to be easy to kind of just get, slip into the culture to accept it okay to let this negative person ooze it onto you or to let this negative environment and culture that you're going into in turn ooze into you and affect you okay i feel like at any time you've got the power to free yourself of this person this environment it just requires you to do it to make that hard decision i do feel like to get away with it it may require you make a decision that you don't want to do to get away from this toxicness okay it may come at a price but the price is going to pay off with what you gain, okay? With the liberation, with being able to spread your wings and fly away and know that you took yourself out of that environment that didn't work. You removed yourself and decided that you deserved better, that that wasn't what you want. So in turn, this freeing yourself of it becomes this total liberation, okay? And utmost freedom within yourself. Thursday's got you going into a place where... Okay, I feel like I'm gonna, for some of you, for some of you, I feel like you're this person. For others of you, I feel like it's someone in your home environment, okay? So I feel like for some of you on Thursday, there's someone in your home environment who's like that real center of the home. And there's a bit of dramas between you and this person, right? And it requires a bit, it requires strength within you to maintain that higher ground and to maintain your morals and your principles, right? Because you are gonna have a few challenges presented as a result of this person. Others of you, I feel like you are that really strong one at home, okay? You are that one in your home environment where people gravitate to you, where you carry the energy, carry that flow, and people kind of feed off you to pick themselves up and there's a lot of they really rely on you in a sense okay i feel like you yourself are going to have your own obstacles to encounter as well okay and linked into these people linked into the people that you're always carrying that you're helping out that you're looking after that are feeding off you okay um i feel like again it's going to be that strength within you that strength within you to work out um what is help and what at the same time is just a hand out in a sense okay i feel like some people are relying on you a bit too much okay maybe falling into codependency a bit all right 
and really starting to blur that line that little bit. And this is again because of everything that you're putting off. You've got this magic within you, okay? And you've got this passion that people want to be part of, okay? In turn, it brings a bit of negative, yeah, but it brings a lot of good as well, all right? And it's like, don't forget that when anything comes your way, it's about you maintaining that higher ground, you maintaining on your perch. As long as you stick to your morals, your values, your beliefs, and you don't sway them for anybody else. Friday's got you going into a place where, okay, I feel like Friday's got you totally caught off guard because you have been, a, you've been deceived a bit, okay? I feel like Friday's got you going into this position where it's like, you're starting to remove the blindfold. You're starting to actually realize. And I don't feel like this deceit is something that just came out of nowhere. I feel like this is something that's more like come to light or it's more you've chosen to actually accept it, all right? Others of you, I feel like you're totally getting off guard, caught off guard and it comes to light on Friday. Whatever it is, this blindsidedness, right, when it does catch you and it's like just... <laughs> Allow yourself to process it a second, yeah? But then shed it, okay? Shed it because this person disillusions you with all their own motives, okay? They disillusion you with just the talk. They don't do any actions. They don't do anything for you. They're not bringing you anything to the table. They're not energetically helping you in any way. They are just this person that's there to talk the talk and they don't want to walk the walk okay and they do do a few things like i said they, they're purposely illusion in you okay they're doing it because they're aware that it will it's kind of like if the facade falls away they realize that it will leave you you might want to leave as well okay i feel like for a lot of you it's like if the facade leaves this person knows you won't have anything to do with them, right? So they're trying their utmost to keep it going. They're trying their utmost to keep this illusion going for you. But again, by being switched onto it, by not allowing it, by choosing your power, right? You don't need anyone in your life who wants to do those things to you, okay? You are in a good place and you've got so much within you you don't need them, okay? And I feel like by freeing yourself of it, by freeing yourself of all the drama that comes with this person, it will allow you to move forward and to move into that next phase and to move on to that next cycle and leave what's behind behind and just keep moving on, okay? Um, I feel like Saturday's got you in a position where things are quite big, okay? I do feel like there is a lot happening for you on Saturday and I feel like it really requires you to take that time to yourself okay i do feel like there is a lot of time uh, a lot of necessary it needs you it needs you to to meditate it needs you to take that time to yourself to ground yourself center yourself and reflect i feel like there's a big need for reflection okay i feel like there's a need for reflection because i feel like there's things that have come into play and your journey could change and progress, okay? And grow and grow and evolve like it naturally will. And I feel like there's there's a lot linking in around all this where you need to process, you need to reflect and reflect on your next move forward, right? Because I feel like your next move forward is all about you. It's all about believing in yourself and doing it your way and and really just taking that leap of belief in yourself and in turn leaving behind all the drama that comes associated, okay? By when you take that leap, it is like you are leaping away from all the negativity, away from the insecurities, away from the anxieties, the nervousness, all these things that plague you and hold you back, jealousy, guilt, okay? Um, it's about just freeing yourself saturday is really about that going within acknowledging the hurt acknowledging the things you've been through even acknowledging the things that maybe you've done that in turn have a bit of guilt associated right but it's about going within facing it facing it front on and then overcoming it overcoming it picking yourself up and then moving forward with yourself moving forward with that belief in yourself that trust in yourself not letting stresses hold you back day to day like responsibilities holding you back from what it is you want okay 
They are not the excuses anymore. It requires you on Saturday to take that time to yourself. You have so much power within you, okay? You have so much going on inside you. If you start dabbling into it, you are gonna pull out so much. I already feel like there are a few of you that are da like dabbling in the occult, okay? Dabbling in spirituality, dabbling in your own. It might be your own total root of things. It might be a very unique individual process there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever okay I feel like you are taking yourself to a place where you are searching for sacred knowledge where you are searching for answers bigger than just this okay where you are searching for meaning meaning in more in the universe in the afterlife in spirits in so much more okay and I feel like you can get that you can go this course you can get everything you want again it just requires you to leave all that self-doubt all those insecurities at the door. It requires you to deal with them, right? And not at the door as in bottled up, but like dealt with first. Sunday's got you going into a place where it is a day to really focus on harmony, okay? Harmony within yourself, harmony within your environment. I do feel like it is, Sunday's going to be a day that really needs you to find that balance. There are going to be people around you that throw things out of balance. People around you where you have to kind of bite your tongue. There's going to be moments where you want to snap back at someone and you're going to have to just bite your tongue. And again, it's like take that higher ground, be that bigger person, okay? Um, it really needs you to find compromise as well. For those of you where you're needing to move forward on the same level as other people, you're going to find you're going to have to compromise. There's going to be no two way about it, all right? But you are going to need to stand your ground. Sunday wants you, even though I'm saying compromise, it doesn't mean giving up what you're going after. It doesn't mean compromise and sacrifice what you're pursuing. It wants you to fight for what you want, okay? The compromise is just when you are butting heads and need to find a common ground in order to have two different parties come together and move forward okay um regardless though sunday has you in a position where it's like stand your ground i might be saying take that bigger that biggest uh be the bigger person and that but you will know the times when you need to stand your ground and when you need to be the bigger person okay it's there's strength in knowing when to fight, when not to fight, okay? And I feel like that's what you know, but you're really going to have to be exercising that strength on Sunday in order to get the best outcome for you, for the people around you, for the people in your environment. But all in all, you've got so much within you. You're so determined. You're so switched on. I feel like you can do all of this like that, okay? This is still going to be a great week ahead for you and yeah thank you for watching like usual please like comment subscribe subscribing is the best way that you can possibly help me out if you enjoy my readings leave a comment i love to know what you think i'll always respond to you and the free tarot reading competition is almost over so as soon as i hit 2000 subscribers i'm giving one of you a free private personal reading on whatever it is you want just like the last few competitions um so as soon as i hit it I'll pick one of you, I'll hit you up, and I'll hit you up on the community post as well. All you need to be, do to be entered is just be subscribed and leave at least one video on, uh, one comment on one of my readings. And yeah, good luck to you all. Thank you for watching. Please stop by my channel. There is content coming out every single day. See ya.